Okay, uh, it's a Monday morning. I'm thrilled once again to be in my new room, which is my mother's room. I've sent her out, obviously, as a good uh, son. Uh, that's uh, to do with the problems that I'm having with Wi-Fi, which followed me from Alibag to Malwa Hill. But now some fiber has been cut in our area, and then we can't uh, get the geo e transmission yet. I have called Mukesh Bhai. He refused. No, not Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Patel. He's the guy who actually handles this here in the area. And unfortunately, nothing could be done. In the meantime. Bad news for people on the eastern coast because uh, now Yas is coming. That's right, Yas. Or is it Yas? I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is Bengal said no to the BJP and Yas to Mamta. So from one typhoon to a cyclone. Uh, we in the West can advise you. We'll do that a little later. In the meantime, let's meet our panel of excellent celebrities today. Uh, last week on Monday, we were supposed to meet up with Meghnad when the cyclone hit the western coast of India. And I was one of the casualties, me and my Wi-Fi. And so unfortunately, poor Meghnad was waiting for us. And he was very upset because that was the highlight of his day. He cried into his pillow and didn't sleep. And the pain and anxiety he felt is what a three-year-old feels when they can't poop. But Meghnad... I want yes. to apologize, but I don't know. How, can you blame? Who do you blame? I mean, this is I blame like God. Ha! Huh. God is God <laughs> above the. Meghnath is God above the BJP or below? I'm. I forget this now. I mean, the hierarchy matters, no? Depending on who you're looking. Ham log sab niche hai. 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 Yeah. Perfectly put. It doesn't Wo matter who's on top. Upar hai, so how does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> that is that's the correct philosophy. The defeatist philosophy yes. is very positive. I feel you need to Absolutely. use it more. But before and you we start, be aware of the social hierarchy in the society. No, we are the bottomist rung. Correct. I'm aware of <laughs> Correct. I'm aware of our position. Ground floor, mein jo hai log, I know that very well. First floor, second floor, mein kya farak? exactly why? Really doesn't matter to me. Good point you've raised. But uh, Amit wants to start with a refreshing. In India, the most popular new sport after sex is basketball. And Amit is the link between the United States culture and our culture. And some some person is shouting your name, Amit, outside the building. Did you hear that? No. Oh, no, I, that's I, mine. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but why, is shouting, why is he shouting Amit's name outside your building? Well, oh, Magna's in Delhi, now, So somebody is looking for the home minister. Uh, oh, no. I think they're looking for Baba Ramdev. And it's the health minister who's going on a rampage. <laughs> I've been nice to you for four years, but now don't because basically by <laughs> yeah. saying that allopathy is rubbish, he means the doctor's yeah. degree is a waste of time. That that yeah. uh, took that personally. We'll we'll come to that. A uh, quick uh, word on the NBA, Amit. Sorry. Yes. No, it was great. I mean, like been an amazing weekend. NBA basketball playoffs started. Uh, Sixers won, which is always great and is the best. But uh, really, really great uh, game between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Utah Jazz, which just ended five minutes ago. And uh, the a, a big upset over there. So that was fun. Great game between the Knicks and uh, the Atlanta Hawks. That also uh, it's, it's been okay, a good now, weekend, this is like man. airline announcements for most Indians. So can you explain okay. it in cricketing terms? Because I think Meghna has already lost interest and he's uh, suffocating there. I can see. <laughs> like, yeah, Uta Jazz and Puta Paz, and he's just going over his head. No, it's a, a, okay. In, uh, yeah, sure. Imagine Zimbabwe beat India in a IPL T20. Okay, right. The IPL uh, or, is a club team. Oh, no, sorry, not IPL. Point. World Cup T20. Okay, so there's no yeah. need to split hairs. Leave it. Yeah. You made yeah. your point. So okay. a small but team yeah, it, took down the big fish. Well, so yeah, exactly. Utah was the number one seed. It was the best team all year throughout. Like you know, throughout the year, it's been the best team. And the playoffs started today, and they got uh, beaten like by so rusty. The, is, is it because uh, a little rusty or complacent so, or everything? Interesting. Rusty is a possibility, right? Because Utah has not played for over uh, over like eight days now, and uh, Memphis played his last game on Friday and then played his next game on Sunday. So they're like very much in the rhythm of playing all the time, right? Whereas Utah has been since they had clinched what they were doing, they've been like free for the last week. So it could be Rusty, but also one of their good players was not there, uh, and also generally. I think that in the NBA, what winds up happening is that if a team is going to have an upset uh, win in a series, they'll probably win the first game. Like in all likelihood, all, all honesty, I like Memphis. I think it's a really fun team to watch, but I don't see them having a so chance. So they start the slow, like the Mumbai Indians, is what you're saying, and then gather momentum. So if you're going to take down the big fish, it's always in the initial stages. It's always is, in is the that, initial stages. Correct. Because then at one, at one, once Utah kind of gets its shit together, at that point, Memphis has no chance. 
Okay, Amit, uh, research is showing us right now we have an algorithm playing on the screen which you can't mm -hmm. see, which is that any more talk on NBA and the seven listeners have already dropped to three. Uh, actually, so our to... live streams have doubled since we started speaking about the NBA. We went from 40 to 80. Uh, oh, so uh, just, I'll just say this that. This is bullshit. This is, I cannot <laughs> believe this, boss. Naina, me and Silvery are clueless. If we are clueless and we have some idea about the world, what about the general guys listening? It makes no sense to me. No, 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 no. no. I think you fudged it. You, you're doing an honor now, are you? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm looking at the YouTube. Basketball is like short people obsessed with tall people who are playing with the ball. It's just that. You short people... I mean, who's that famous guy in the 90s? Yeah, 5'4", 5'5". 5'3", Muggsy Bogues. Yeah, that's the guy. Muggsy yes, Bogues, Spud Webb. Spud Webb was a guy who was 5'7 and won a dunk contest. Muggsy Bogues was 5'3 and was like a regular player. Like for years he played. Now Meghnar is interested. Uh, <laughs> potential to hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll come to sports because a more interesting story is Padma Bhushan, uh, Arjuna Award winner, uh, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award winner, silver medalist, <laughs> Olympics, bronze medalist, Olympics. Uh, the greatest, uh, arguably the greatest athlete we produce in terms of what he's uh, performed. Um, the great Sushil Kumar is also yeah. a guy who likes to beat people with sticks and fight over all kinds of things, have big brawls and go on the run for 18 days and then get caught by the police to escape another criminal trying to kill him in prison. Uh, we'll fight, come to that. Silvery, what should we start with? And let Meghna talk a little bit. This is his show. He's the special. Okay. It's your no, show. No, no, no. You're the special. No, no, no. I'm like the Congress in the old government. No, we never took the responsibility <laughs> ourselves. Bro. You know, you, 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 we are looking at a new world now. So make that we yeah. you for two Mondays. I screwed it up the last Monday. So you have, I think, come to come, minutes for monologue space. Hai. So you can fill that space right now. Wait, I have monologue. I will give you a monologue. Now, you can discuss What's been happening in your life, Megna? This is the only time we'll get to talk to you personally. After that, Silvery yes. will reel out topics. Uh, okay. then, well, what's been happening with my life? I went to Central Vista. You might be interested in that. Uh, so, okay. I went to Central Vista last to last week. And pe, basically, we were doing a walk around. <coughs> this was after uh, Quint put up that video you must have seen where everybody is like, oh, photography allowed me, videography allowed me. So, my producer and me, Lippy and me, were told that, uh, you know, keep the camera rolling. Koi bhi aayega na, roke ka na, to fir capture karna. Achha, achha. Well, okay. We went there. So I've worked there for seven years, okay, that area. So mujhe gali -gali pata hai pe. Kahan se kahan hai, I can get there instantly. I can teleport in that area, basically. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I took the gully which I knew would be open because he pata hi nahi hai pe. Wo ministry ke piche se ja ke se. So I went right at Vijay Chowk. All the action is you can see Modi ji's upcoming house, you can see the new parliament, you can see the Rajpath completely dug up. And we were taking videos, and I was doing an explainer like a chill person. Everybody was just watching. So, as a lover of architecture, as a lover of architecture, you were taking the pictures. Ha, of course. I mean, not to justify that you can and all that. It was just purely from love of art. Pure, pure, pure. But love, like, we wanted to show the audience that you can do it. Beautiful. You know, beautiful. Everything is great. Modi Mahal Bandra at Chase. So, so, I was doing that, and like, this contingent of CISF was passing by. So, they waved at me. And I waved back. I was like, what is going on? Then later I realized that both me and my producer were wearing full PPE kit. Okay. So I thought mm. that they got super intimidated because they were not coming close. Either they thought I had corona or they thought that I had come for testing. <laughs> so I'm not sure what they thought, but that is my theory. That is my running theory. But sir, yeah. I think you're both fantastic point here because if you dress correctly, people prejudge the situation immediately. Uh, so I think when they see, even I, if I see a PPE uh, kit, I don't want to go close. There could be some officious capacity, could be a sick person, could be here to help sick people. But you know ki that guy is related to COVID in some way. So let's stay away. Uh, I think it's, this is a great gift you have given us on a Monday morning. Please, everybody listening, get yourself a kit, not for safety, but to get people away from you. And then you can go and look at uh, controversial project sites on your own and <coughs> shoot them from any angle. Uh, this reminds me a lot, of, Amit, of what I was telling you about this police brutality, police mm -hmm. own it videos that are out there in the in the West at the moment in America. 
where they try to you know just irritate the cops by you know seeing how far they can take their civic liberties well yeah that but, but that's also not so cool to do right i mean like i don't know i feel like you know screw with uh, screwing with people no, who baiting. are doing a job you're basically baiting the guy yeah yeah you're screwing with people who are doing a job right i mean like you know at the end of you're, it you're, uh, you're criticizing megnad right now huh, by the way well no, I, I i would be criticizing megnad if people were screwing with him for doing his job right i'm not criticizing megnad i, I, I मोदी जी कहते हैं ना मोदी जी कहते हैं ना कि क्रिटिसिज्म इज गुड फॉर द गवर्नमेंट एंड एवरीबॉडी एल्स तो क्रिटिसिज्म लेना चाहिए द पीएम केयर्स या या एब्सोल्युटली दिस इज समथिंग ही सेज एवरी डे Uh, also, it's crazy, right? That you're not allowed to take photos and videos at the Central Vista project. So the funny yeah, thing is, no, the funny thing is that uh, the video that Queen shows and all these pictures going around is in this small patch, one barricade which has like four signs around it. But across the entirety of Central Vista, there are no other signs. So if you stand in front of a sign which says "photography not allowed." And you are doing photography. Someone will come and say, "Ki piche ka sign padho yar." <laughs> so we went to the other side and we are shooting. वहाँ पे कोई sign नहीं था, तो किसी ने रोका नहीं. शायद उनको पता ही नहीं था उस side क्या हो रहा है और इस side क्या हो रहा है. नहीं sir, I It's think like no um... parking signs in Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> you don't park in front of the sign. The main thing is that they dress correctly. The PPT. It's like an actor. Once they wore that PPT uh, thing, I think there's no question of if the CISF guys are saluting them. They are they are official. There's an official yeah. capacity for them being there. in the minds of everybody i think that he cracked the system system has been cracked and i think going forward meghnad can go to supreme court anywhere he wants and just hang around and no one's going to bother him yeah absolutely yeah. everybody will be like are kya corona aa gaya koi maan aadmi aa gaya jo hum pre production karke aa gaya is obviously connected ha huh. if i could be devil's advocate here for a second uh oh. do you think that there is a purpose to not allowing photography at the time of construction of the prime minister's residence forget the fact that they're doing the project i don't think they should be doing the project right now okay let's put that aside right we but is this last year Oh yeah, no. But is there a case? On, yeah. Is there a case for like not allowing photography? Security wise, because I'm remembering security? right, dude. I mean, no, like no. they'll be building bunkers and the stuff like that. The plans for terrorists to come and attack. Are you looking from I that mean, perspective? I mean, like, so I I know that uh, like at the Bombay Stock Exchange, right, the top floor of the top Bombay Stock Exchange, you're not allowed to take photographs from there because you can see naval installations. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Right. Uh, No, there is Look. no. So the signs came up after people started posting pictures of exactly. Adhava, Rajput, exactly. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So and and that's the thing. So if you go to Vijay Chowk, if you have been to Vijay Chowk, hmm. you can see the entirety of Central Vista, right? So I was very, I was also very uh, confused why uh, the maybe Quint or whoever else went to that area because so there are three three roads like this, okay. so this is the one which goes to the parliament and the rashtrapati bhavan is here the okay. middle one is like a thoroughfare road which is the most active one and right. this is the one which is near india gate right and this is okay. the rajpath going like this right okay. the buildings are coming on the side which are like this and the rajpath has been dug up all over the place so uh, if you go this side this is where vijay chowk is so i went here so i could look at all the like basically a panorama of the entire project This right. is the road where the signs have come up. So it's actually the worst spot to even look at the project. So I'm also right. like, I was very confused why they went there first. So um, and also one more thing that was there, the only area we were restricted from going was the labor camp. So the there okay. is a labor camp that has come up near the India Gate, which is uh, which has like two fifty to three hundred uh, laborers living there. Uh, we we were not allowed to go there. We You got in because the barricade was just open, but then right. later they said that no, it's allowed. It's a restricted area. Hai, delete your footage, etc. But we were like, no, nah, we don't want to cause any trouble. We'll go out again. But this um, sums up in India. Sorry, yeah. It sums up India a little bit now because you're building the most beautiful, large-scale sort of mansion and you know, properties like that, and you're living in a labor camp yourself. You know, <laughs> during yeah. COVID. so that there's a little there's a little thought there you know that that's exactly how we've survived uh, disparity and divisions throughout the society which have always been side by side and some people look at it from outside and say how vulgar it is when you have a yeah. discotheque and rich people going inside the same building where mazdoors are uh, you know hand to mouth struggling 5 feet away but that's it that's the way we are 
and वहाँ पे I did like a basically it was just a walk about right you know to show what is happening etc but also uh, so this senior journalist uh, Alpana Kishore she has done a two part piece on news laundry listing out the multiple violations of Central Vista right so like how this project actually started and came about to this place so I was just explaining that while I was going around etc. So one of the people in the camp who was the, I won't name that person because I don't want them to get into trouble. Uh, they basically took my phone and they started playing that and they were like, Haan, but this is wrong, but this is wrong, but this is wrong, you are giving incorrect information. Ho. I'm like, boss, why are you video ho now? <laughs> I mean, check your video now. I mean, check your video now. But, but what? what? Na mere ko se. It's fine, I'll go. <laughs> But who is that guy? Matlab, don't say the name, but his uh, official capacity was what was it exactly? I can't because then he's the only person there and it, it becomes in, in, like, you know, identifiable immediately. Then so just I clarify not... my thought. Is it either Dr. Harshavardhan or Baba Ramdev? If it's not, then oh, I'm okay. If Harshavardhan came and did that, I would be like, why would I delete the footage then? I would actually <laughs> use it. Then. I would say, this is he may have wanted to borrow your PPT kit. I think forgotten his. Um, yeah, but how many you discussed this? Scoop of the century. Scoop of the century. Bol, bol, bol. Bol. No, no, I've had this problem so with also... the... Sorry, sorry. Go on. No, I'm saying they're also saying that uh, the working conditions at the place are terrible. And that's part of why they don't want you to take photographs and videos. Uh, because so... Uh, so bro, 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 bro. So let's get it, understand the perspective here. It's got nothing to do with uh, whether uh, there's some, you know, uh, great or what's it, risk to the country in, in some way, shape or form or to the prime minister or to any of his cohorts. It's only yeah, the yeah. embarrassment of building this and how the left in India will attack you about it. And how, you know, when you look at living conditions and see the disparity in income and how they're living, etc. For the West, it'll be very vulgar. And they love to show these pictures. The excitement Pe Mahar mansion, ek side pe log, uh, I don't know, in a gutter with a tent or God knows how bad it is. I know in Mumbai, yeah. I've seen some terrible living conditions. And also foreign journalists have been in that area a lot because after, ever since, you know, the controversy happened, um, they have been coming with these giant cameras with zoom lenses and like trying to look inside the labor camp and everything. Uh, but like unko bhi rok diya, unka bhi full footage delete kar diya. Um, but what we saw is the working conditions seem to be okay, at least from what we were told. Uh, there is a doctor on site, there is yeah, and essentially it's a containment zone and the laborers are not bubble. allowed to go. It's out like IPL already. bubble, but for laborers. They've got their own bubble. Yeah. They cannot uh, yeah. Ja sakte. Isme hi rena yeah, lovely. And the food comes from the same sauce. So I think they and should they get kadha twice a day. Like this is true. They get kadha twice a day. So you cannot question it anymore. Of course, because Kada is the most effective thing now, according to the ministry, I think. Absolutely. Yes. It will <laughs> solve it. is everywhere, not to worry, yaar. <laughs> and uh, to be to be doubly safe, if you keep uh, one cow, uh, I'm sure Pragya Ji will be able to advise you on how to use that. Also. <laughs> we have got reinforcement <laughs> in every space, not to worry. But I must say, uh, I feel quite jealous actually of Meghna because it takes a lot of guts to go and do these things. I'd love to do them, you know, for our kind of shows also. But what fear? I mean, no, but it's ultimately... sad though. It's very sad when people say this because um, that's the job of journalists, right? I mean, jaake questions, pucho, jaake, you resolve your own personal curiosity and take the audience with you, is how I look at it. Right? Sir, I I'm mean, told that Delhi police will make Mumbai police look like schoolgirls, in, in a sense. So, <laughs> I mean, if we are having trouble dealing with our guys here, imagine what they would be like. I mean, there's no question yeah. of being polite. Politeness, to, but, I mean, don't even get into that area. We went, we went at like 3.30 in the afternoon when everybody was like snoozing and like it was hot as hell. So everybody was like, just like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Perfect wow. time to go when people are sleeping and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have to research. You have the pre-production involved. Research when the predator is less likely to attack you. All you're doing is showing a bloody building, yar. <laughs> really, sometimes well, our country is too funny. And you know, it's just vulgar. But but everywhere we have this luxury and this poverty together business, you know. And he's right. The foreigners just love it. Because it's more or less impossible to see that in many parts of the world. You've got to go to like a Brazil or an India or something yeah. where, you know, we sort of get that. And but we're just immune why... to it. Like, like, tell me this, how many people probably know the name of a slum in any country other than Brazil or India? 
Uh, honestly, I mean, like uh, outside of Brazil, uh, Brazil, where people know the favelas of Rio de Janeiro, and India, where you know Dharavi, where else do you even know the names what of any other way? songs? Yeah, like because I, because no, it's exactly what you're saying, right? I mean, like there is a poverty porn obsession in other parts of the world, and India and Brazil are your primary kind of providers of that porn because we do have the juxtaposition of tremendous wealth against tremendous poverty. I don't want to take the government side actually, but sometimes I do feel we are putting ourselves out for a beating all the time because there's a lot of left-leaning journalists, which is most journalists all over the world, who are thinking, let's get these guys down. They think they're paper tiger, emerging very fast. You know, saying I will send vaccines to all the other countries before the second surge happens, or if we go back, go back, go back, go back, the whole song changed immediately. But, but, I, no, but uh, I, I, I would like to sort of, uh, you know, like sort of come in here to say that you know, I don't think they have like an overall agenda to show. Indian That's exactly it. I would not put that as I a mean, motivation there. Yeah, it's the I mean, agenda for a story. They want an interesting story. They want an interesting they visual. They do. They do. Yeah, but, but, an but interesting this is, visual plus it, there is no, I mean, we shouldn't have any qualms about saying that we have, we are in a disastrous situation. I mean, all across the world, the kind of carnage we are seeing due to COVID oh, in India is insane. So, I mean, okay. of course, it's a story. I'll put it this way. Would the White House, forget Trump, but any other normal president, would the White House construction be going on in a when they're in a position of real pandemic, panic, yevo, yevo, people are suffering. And in the background, the people working there are all Mexican laborers who are put together in one huddle, were locked in one camp, which is not a five-star hotel from any angle. And, uh, you know, so I'm saying that that, that picture doesn't come across, uh, if you're looking at yourself as first world country, that picture comes across a little vulgar. Well, I, mean, like Trump would I, do I, it. I think I don't doubt Trump, but yeah, I, I, I agree. Yes. Trump would, <laughs> but Cyrus, I think that when you insult the PR capabilities of this government, you insult the true capabilities, and I don't think they would appreciate that. Yeah, please don't insult their PR capabilities. <laughs> but anyway, they'll attack Silvery. He's the producer. What did I do? Silvery take the beating like a man. And both your parents are card-carrying members of BJP, so you have that in your support. My dad is in a wheelchair, doesn't know what's going on. And my mom is only worried about the, me getting a second vaccine. Because even if I'm 49, I'm still the small baba that has to be looked after. So every day, vaccine, vaccine every single day. It's quite uh, Amit, you haven't done your second, no? Well, I, I have now been kicked to the 18th of June as my earliest available date for my second vaccine. But that would be three months. Uh, yeah, it's. I, I can't even go and register yeah. anymore. Even you, same thing. You will also not be able to I'm register little, anymore. Uh, two months is June 6th. So they won't take our registration after two months. You cannot register only right now until uh, you will not get till July now. Sorry, uh, people, to have I this took personal conversation about two rich guys in Malbar Hill worried about their second vaccine. But hey, <laughs> our lives matter too. OLM, our life. Join the movement, Meghnad. Yeah, of course. I'm South Delhi, so equivalent. So there you go. <laughs> Pretending to be left leaning, and I'll catch the government at work. Huh? All then these then what people. You went to Nando's and had chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, but that's our lives, isn't it? You, you, try to, you can't. We live in one world. India has these different worlds, yeah. So when we work, say on a TV shoot, and you work with everybody, you eat together lunch and all that. Everybody's friends, and you sort of, you know, there's a middling process. There are leveling process of jaate usme. But when you come back home, you go to your side of the road, right? And they go to their side of the road. It's just not going to change. I don't, I don't, I don't see how you can balance the classes and that kind of thing in this country. It's just huge. What do you say, Amit? Do you have a solution? Inequality has actually worsened because of the pandemic, right? Because it has increased the difference between the haves and the have-nots. Correct. Right? And yeah. I feel like, uh, so our reporters have been in Uttar Pradesh and the kind of stories they've been telling are just horrifying. Uh, you like We have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel as well, where they went to crematoriums, where they went to hospitals. They chased around people right from when they got COVID till the hospital, till they died, oh, then they went to cemeteries. And the and they had to take them in e rickshaws or like a triple seat on a yay body in the middle. Um, it's it's horrifying, right? Um, and I feel like uh, it has just brought forward the uh, the inequality in society because now it's very sure that if you have privilege, uh, you will not be affected by this catastrophe, right? If you have access to Twitter and you can give out SOS calls and some influencer retweets you. That is literally your privilege there, right? Yeah. And it's it's might be sometimes random privilege, sometimes it might be just luck or whatever. But there are people who don't have that, right? And uh, it's horrifying. Don't have that. 
Yeah, yeah. No, it all comes down to what my uh, eco professor, Mrs. Mohini Vaishali, after throwing me out of class, said very clearly: uh, sustainability. So we'll be divided by those who can sustain and those who can't sustain. And I mean, we're joking about it, but there are people who cannot sustain, and that's why this yeah. whole lockdown, lockdown, lockdown that people are saying we must do it, we must do it. We, I go on barking about it all the time, but it's just it's so cruel. You just look at our industry alone. Just look at spot boys, for example. They need daily work. They're not going to get it. Light boys, attendants, camera people, caterers. We okay, forget the actors and artists and those. You know, they, they'll manage. They, most of them will manage. But the, there's about 50, 70 percent of the industry which is not that. People don't think about it. I've got calls from makeup people every day, almost in the last month, saying, "Yes, sir, kuch hai, kuch hai," because they know we're doing shooting something here quietly and something there quietly. They're desperate. Uh, I. I think the only thing left is we have to build something like this Central Vista project. We have to do something here and give work to people. Uh, let uh, me hope, talk hope. Uh, That's hope. Ki construction that's hope. Ho at least. Uh, 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 a uh, political construction because that will uh, get passed. Uh, it has to yeah. be. It has to be. Exactly. When the idea came, it passed. Ho exactly. <laughs> 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 of course. <laughs> the stamp is in your dream only. It's in your dream. It's in your dream. It's in your dream. It's in your dream. Passed. Yeah, I mean, we've discussed this 200 times now, but sometimes you feel a little bad because life should go on, etc. But it's like the IPL. It does look a little vulgar. However, it you does. Look at it. it does, but life has to move on, right? I mean, like, there is a difference between intervention and these kinds of complete lockdowns, right? Interventions is necessary. Lockdowns to this degree is kind of, you, you have to be, you have to be targeted about it, right? Different places should be doing different things, right? And it has to be more than just states, right? Like you can't have a Maharashtra wide policy. You cannot have a Uttar Pradesh yeah, wide policy. These not, are states yeah. which are like bigger than most countries are. And I mean, like, it's insane that you have like a one Maharashtra policy or a one UP policy. It's just crazy. And uh, Amit, Maharashtra... I think we spoke about this, and I think Cyrus ke saathi we spoke about this last time. I think two years ago I was there. Uh, yeah. Whatever, wherever. But we spoke about decentralization because of this, right? Like Uttar Pradesh, the size of Uttar Pradesh is so huge. Um, and the if you are centralizing everything, right, from vaccine distribution to oxygen distribution, how are you supposed to manage this entirely diverse country? Where languages bhi samaj bhi nahi aate, yeah. right? And how will you do that? So decentralization is the only option. And I don't think this government is interested in doing that even during a desperate situation like this. But they're so they not interested decentralize in... the blame, but yeah. then they centralize the credit. So it's, no, and they the centralize. It. It's it, the the degree of centralization around healthcare delivery is insane, right? I mean, like it's just it's ludicrous that this is the degree mm. of kind of uh, way, the the way that they are choosing to kind of do this. And then you're right. The second it became a problem, it's like decentralized. Mm. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, you you know what you need to you need to distribute decentrally, but you need to acquire centrally. And I mean, like that is the most logical way to kind of do something like this. It's how yeah. every country in the world would do something like this. Instead, you have outsourced the purchase to states. I mean, like what the fuck? Like seriously, yeah. that just it makes no sense, right? Because Why are you... states putting out global tenders? That's just ridiculous. Yeah. So are they like oh. separate countries doing it now? I mean, ye tukne, and, tukne so, gang so, and do you think you it's do wrong that. of Amarinder doing that? Uh, or do you think, I mean, you know, isn't that a desperate no, situation? Where because you will he do has that? no choice because the central That's government what? has abdicated responsibility, right? I mean, like, this is something that the central government should be doing. They should be acquiring and then they should be letting the states distribute after the acquisition. Instead, what you're having over here is that the initial acquisition was happening through them. The second there was a delivery problem or there was a supply problem, they're like, okay, states go and buy. Now what will happen is, uh, uh, let, let, let's be honest, there are, there are have and have not states in this country in terms of what kind of money they have, right? Yeah. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, these people will buy whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck price, right? But yeah. what's going to happen to the states which don't have that? Exactly. They're, they're all going to be... It, it, so I will it just continues. <laughs> it is amazing to me that, uh, you, you know, I mean, like Veer Sangvi has been on this uh, little bit of a crusade against Harshwardhan, right? And I oh. buy it, right? Uh, not just Harshwardhan, right? But uh, the entire kind of uh, medical response, essentially. Response, essentially. The central right? medical I, response. I, I, I buy it completely, right? I mean, like, you, you saw the letter from Harshwardhan to Baba Ramdev. I, I, we're, we're supposed yeah. to go get into that at some point, right? Yeah. I don't understand how the health minister of a country, and this is a guy who's had so many issues. Though, do you know the word allopathic was was invented by the guy who introduced homeopathy? 
the guy who invented wow. homeopathy is the Jolinger. person who invented the word allopathy to contrast it from homeopathy there is no such thing oh. as allopathy it oh, is medicine then, yeah it I is thought... medicine medicine oh. that works works it is medicine that's it allopathy does not exist it is it was literally set up as a word as a contrast to homeopathy I thought when you and see your husband, you say allopathy. How are you? We <laughs> 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 came from there. I'm feeling better. ठीक है सब ठीक है बीमार तो नहीं है. Okay, okay, carry on. Uh, but we have to we have to take a Sinus, break. Sinus, those uh, WhatsApp jokes come from you only. No, I I'm know so this. Sorry, You're yeah. the source. Yeah. <laughs> the Low-hanging source. fruit is because you have not got the second booster. You know, if you get the second booster, everything will go up, and our comedy will also improve. But but you know, just coming back to first, Baba Ramdev is on a pedestal with the government, especially the center. Etc. Then he goes and makes these comments, a bit like Pragya, also in a sense, because you know suddenly they are worried and they do damage control. Because I think also this international uh, watch for them, which is the important thing, how we look in the eyes of the rest of the world. Uh, and then he has to go and demand an apology, which if you now it's in Hindi, so maybe Meghna will be able to translate better than us. But the, the apology is not a real great apology. He backs off from the thing, and then he says that he talks a little bit more about how much work we have done. and it is we have not been given the due credit which is so far away from an apology like if you beat up a kid in class and then you go and then you say sorry in front of the principal you don't say sorry and then say oh but by the way i have also helped five children in class you know with their homework it doesn't you don't talk like that so i don't know you, you have so after uh, so since because uh, since this whole thing happened i've been going down the baba ram dev rabbit hole okay uh, i looked at a few <laughs> of his videos it's a terrible terrible metaphor or whatever there yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i know i know what you mean because it's exactly how you okay. describe it so <laughs> <laughs> to sleep <laughs> 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 Baba Ram, they rabbit hole. <laughs> But I'm going down it, okay? <laughs> 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 so, so uh, I saw this very bizarre video on uh, Astha channel, which was which was telecasted on the 21st of May, which was like three days ago. Okay, he's in front of a bunch of children, like a gathering of children doing yoga and like talking to them in like. This weird way, you know. Ah, but you, ye karo, wo karo, vagre, etc. And at one point, like he's like, ha, kisi ne bola mujhe ki doctor banna hai. Ha ha, tum tar 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 karte raho. Abhi to news aaya hai ki hazar doctor mar gaye hai, do vaccine lekar. To kya fayda hua degree ka? And I was like, what is going? And he's like sitting like this and like talking to them. They are also like sitting like this and listening to him. And they're like, ah, ah, so amazing. Like. Think about the despicable man who is not only planting seeds of vaccine hesitancy just casually to like a bunch of kids gathered there, but also dissing doctors who died. It's horrifying, and I I I'm still stunned how this man is allowed on TV, right? Because um last year uh, I had done this giant piece and my colleague did an investigation on coronet, right? So when He started plugging coronel on every TV channel, etc. We were like, "Boss, his ka approval kya hai, etc., etc." वो देखना था. So my colleague Basant found that उसके trial में जो doctors, he said that some doctors were given coronel and they they got cured. The people they used as test subjects, they were not even tested before they were given coronel. So they were suspected <laughs> to have. Wow. What a cured person. <laughs> You're the cured person. This is this a medical breakthrough, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and and you know, like how we cure your cardiac. Yeah, very good, very good. So, but they're and, not wrong. Then they're not wrong. It worked. They, it's it's correct. It worked. In a yeah. Sense. I mean, I guess it worked. Yeah. मतलब खासी हो गई है तो दो दिन में चला गया तो फिर कोरोना ने कोरोना क्यूर कर दिया. Basically, that was what it was. And then uh, all news channels from Times Now to Republic to all these ABP types. they did like proper live telecast of the launch and they did a debate where they got him where he was showing off the products in his laboratory or whatever it is um, and claiming <laughs> that uh, allopathy ke isse kuch nahi hone wala ye lo ye ye jadi putti humne banaya hai baba ji ki putti le lo and just oh, be man, happy that also sounds horrible <laughs> लॉर्ड मेघनाथ विल कॉल हिम ऑन दिस 
which is Antarik yes. says. Uh, Antarik, which one? Uh, second one. We have done second, second one. Second one it is. Cred part two. Uh, Meghnaar, please join me in uh, this fabulous ad that uh, Silvery wrote five minutes ago. See, okay. Meghnaar, I'm not someone who believes in credit, but these days I find myself using my credit card more and more. Uh, do you agree with this statement? I don't have a credit card, so great. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You aspire. Aspiring is why the market grows. Ah, right, right. Uh, just say the right thing so the sponsor stays. Huh. Uh, <laughs> so he, he doesn't have a credit card, but he will get cred. That's his next step. But once the Vista project is, uh, Central Vista project is complete, he doesn't want to you know target anybody in particular. So once that happens, he'll do it. Uh, because if I pay my credit card bills on cred, I get amazing rewards and cashbacks. And honestly, this is the kind of validation I was waiting for all my life. Make that ready. It's just download cred with a lot of emotion. Just download cred. Cred, okay, yeah. Thunder, I thought, but uh, coming out of a rabbit hole, you know, your voice goes and all that, so it <laughs> takes some time. <laughs> one can one can totally understand and accept it. Yeah. So it, that it, was this is, this is this is very sneaky of you, huh? I I am from a, a ad free platform and you made me do an ad. Oh. मतलब थोड़ा trap कर दिया मेरे को तुमने. <laughs> sir, sir, ये सब practice है. इस ad का कुछ मतलब नहीं है. We don't get any money. Achha. We are practicing. Oh, we oh you're practicing. Just... Ah, so that hopefully they'll bless us. We've chosen <laughs> trade for this month. Next month we're going with Patanjali. What are your thoughts, yar? No, 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 no. Cred is an amazing advertiser. They're fantastic. We love them very much. Okay, we stay with Cred then. Ah, but then I love their Rahul Dravid ad though. I have to say this. I, have, they, I love their uh, Indira Nagar ka gunda wala ad. Some of the ads are amazing. Venki, what is it called? Venki boys. Venki boys. <laughs> that yeah. Ad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was also amazing. Sinath <laughs> and uh, Prasad, but uh, tell me one thing, Amit. If uh, Patanjali gives you an option as sponsor, you wouldn't say no, right? Uh, you know what? I mean, like, uh, I don't know the answer to that. I think I'm. I, I I think there are multiple hosts on our channel mm -hmm. who would say no, and because of that, I would also say no. Uh, there there are more than a few hosts who would say no to Patanjali. I'll say yes. I'm saying yes yep. now. I'm saying yes now. I'm already saying okay. yes. Yeah. Okay. In fact, there are a couple of my friends who seem slightly, you know, effeminate and might be going towards the gay side. And apparently, there's one project on the one product on the shelf which you apply twice behind your neck or something, and you become heterosexual. So I, I I'm inclined to they try do all anti gay things. products. Uh, sorry, they do. Uh, I, I don't even know what you would call that. They gay came up with an anti gay product. Too? I'm telling you, they do gay cure products, really. I don't know if they still got it. I would not be surprised criticism. because Ramdev has did. some issues, right? Or, or, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's been like homo He's doing some therapy or something. Extensively. Yeah. No, no fan can of the boy club. Homosexuality with yoga or something. Yeah, uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Like, I, 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 I don't understand how this guy gets the platform he just does. I, I just sometimes so, it just blows my mind. This is very. Uh, this is actually where I was uh, going for. Um, oh. So if you look at the, so I looked at like endless live streams of channels when I was looking at this Corona business, and it was going on for like two days. Uh, every channel that I looked, there would be like a Patanjali ad, or there would be a Patanjali ad while reading the headlines before that, or like a flash, a tiny Pramdev would come up on top. I have taken like screenshots and put it in my piece also. And Ipsos is this organization that found that Patanjali is one of the top ten advertisers in the country, right? And oh, most, sure. a lot of their money goes to obviously news channels. Right. So it's like he went on and he basically said uh, uh, stuff like when when they asked him ki approval mila kya, he's like, ha allopathy wale Ayurved ko approval nahi dete, to Ayurved wale allopathy ko bhi nahi dete, to it's all good. And the anchors did not question him at all because on the same day, Ayush Ministry themselves said that you know you need to stop advertising this crap you're selling on TV. Right, right, right. Uh, IMA had distanced itself, but still he was he continued to do shows on news channels where Arnab Goswami did a thing, Times Now did a thing, um, uh, ABP did a thing with him. India Today live broadcasted all of his like launch and everything. No, like no anchor was even give, saying anything. It was just a live broadcast, like an advertisement. And I mean, you know why they are not questioned, right? I mean, they're right. literally their bread, bread and basket, whatever depends on it. Um, it's crazy. 
Maybe we yeah, should nah. have a dre- dress like Baba Ramdev Day. You, we should accept it instead of fighting it. Everybody, you know, sort of uh, accepts it and says, "Chalo, TK, we all dress like Baba Ramdev. We all, you know, embrace some of the products and say why we like them instead of cred. You you say why you like this product, for example, which uh, takes out ear hair. I have a ear hair issue, right, Amit uh, Silvery? So I'm sure he's got something yeah. for me because apparently I- he's got something for everything. So I, I'll say this: uh, Patanjali honey is supposed to be very good. I know that. Other than that, I don't know that anybody else has anything there. But there was this article, no, that they sent the honey for testing, and it turned out to be like. I know. I was referring. I, I, I was talking about that only. I, I, sorry, oh. I was joking. That was sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank God. God. <laughs> I was serious. <laughs> what? I thought no, honey is not. The honey is not real honey, right? I mean, like it was a whole yeah, yeah. big. It was a big thing, right? It was not a small. Yeah. Wow. Uh, sorry, I, 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 I thought uh, it was more well. No, remembered Indian ethos. This it. doesn't work, Amit. You can't be so deadpan. It doesn't work. Okay. Even the great Amitabh Bachchan <laughs> moves his eye a little bit here and there. This is not right here. If you're so deadpan, the show will die. You have okay. to save it. All right. We'll tell you when India evolves. It'll be after okay. the Central Asia project is complete. We'll give you the proper timing and dates. In the okay. meantime, guys, you've spoken about nothing and really end of the show. Uh, there were <laughs> 10 topics. We have not even touched one. I asked Meghna to tell me about his life. And yaar, 40 minutes ke baad, we have not even completed his story. So what should we do? Central Vista ke wapas aage hum log pe. Uh. Yeah. No, no but uh, uh, Ramdev, uh, it's it's quite amazing how uh, he did all of this a year ago, which is similar to what he said today. But usko kuch nahi hua tab. Matlab, like nobody did anything. And now when he did the same thing, and now there is like a backlash, what happens? Health minister writes a letter to him. What does that even mean? I mean, I don't understand. The health like minister uses the word allopathy in his letter. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, that, 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 that's yeah. just like you know. It to me is I, 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 I allopath. Uh, the, the second you use the word allopathy when you're talking about medicine, I stop taking people seriously. And I, I, I mean, like it's because it is. You, you. Re- I, so I, I, I've you said this many times. To homeopathy because you've given both of them an equal base. Allopathy, you put them homeopathy. No, but I, I, I've always said this, right? I, I have tremendous faith in the greed of drug companies. Tremendous faith in their greed. Okay, okay. if this shit worked. They would be manufacturing it. Hmm. True. You know, I, 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 I really do believe that. I believe that like completely that if this stuff worked, they would be manufacturing it. So I mean, like, I just I don't understand how the I, I, I just it drives me crazy the way that medical communications occurred over this last couple of months that we've seen. Just this lack of information, untransparent information. This vaccine rollout is like a Sorry, my... But uh, like about the lack of information, so I think, you know, uh, we need to also uh, look at what uh, experts were saying, right, before the COVID wave hit us. So I looked at the standing committee report from November 2020, which is last hmm. year, right? This is after the, you know, we, we were also, improving uh, and whatever, yeah. whatever. Um, there, they actually pointed out that a second wave is coming. And oxygen ka problem hone wala hai, medicine ka problem. This is our parliament speaking, right? Like the committee report. Um, they give out like this giant report, which which actually predicts the future of what we saw and are seeing right now. Uh, but nothing happens, right? But I that's it's presented because, in. Mingo, Mingo, that's because they put out this giant report. They need to put out a three page thing, which people can read and digest. And I think I that's the think... biggest problem. No, but I, I that's don't think the... that. We... Hmm. No, but that's my thing. So like, uh, apart from that, like last session, which is the budget session, which happened again, right before the second wave hit us, uh, there were a number of MPs who also asked questions about this. How prepared is India? Hmm. How much medicine do we have? How many hospitals have been built? And they have like, they have a copy paste answer now, which is like health is a state subject, ask them, you know, and, and that's the thing. So like MPs were asking, MPs were giving suggestions Experts were telling them that listen, uh, some, be careful. It's do not relax. It's going to come back, and if it comes back, it will come back with a vengeance because variants will come back. Uh, this is around the same time Europe was seeing like this massive second so wave, which was huh. done by variants, right? And I I do not understand how a prime minister can then go to like a World Economic Forum and say that ah, humne to defeat kar diya. Uh, we are the leaders in this. We have given an example to the entire world. And 
now it's like a situation where uh, they're just absent basically they don't know how what to do and and the only thing they can think of is uh, uh, let's blame it on something else so what about the uh, tears uh, china huh? what about the crying yeah oh my god wo bhi to aane wala hai na wo bhi hamare list mein tha so let's quickly get to that uh, Uh, a couple of days back uh, the pm modi was addressing uh, on an online forum was addressing healthcare workers and he started at one point while he's talking about the death toll and the people we've lost uh, he starts shedding tears no not tears he starts getting emotional uh, people are saying that was an act and there were crocodile tears and then there were posts made about uh, shobha day and other uh, leaders and politicians posting a Not a fake, but a doctor. Yeah, Gandhi, Times, Gannett, I think, yeah. The crocodile tear thing. They showed a picture oh. of a crocodile in the NY and New York Times. Ka uh, photoshopped image there that was being spread. So that image was false, but people are still saying that those croc- those uh, tears shed by. But the, but the in, in his were, defense, yeah. I think they just saw the movie Rade, and uh, perhaps you know <laughs> that had an effect. You know, and I mean, what is the title? Oh, I love the title. There's an English line after that. Rade, uh, the uh, what India's. The, No, most wanted bhai bhai right? india's most wanted yeah. bhai i i just something like that wait yeah. that's the subtitle of the movie seriously yeah, yeah, yeah. i think it's most wanted so bhai or india's most wanted bhai that's the full bhai, title yeah. so the subtitle the yeah. full title is rade dash and india's most, most wanted, wanted bhai sorry it's most wanted bhai not india's most wanted bhai yeah okay most wanted bhai oh. yeah yeah but it's so yeah. that's a very funny okay. that's they they are like all the uh salman keywords are there right like most wanted yeah. they want because that's from they wanted the dialogue wanted. wanted and you got bhai right i mean yeah, like that, yeah. Bhai, yeah exactly agar maine khud commitment diya wala dialogue is word to word repeated from wanted no no so so that's because they're saying who is a sequel of wanted like an uh, spiritual sequel to wanted because same director yeah. and same kind of story like that, that's what they're saying that's what they're saying This is the yeah. Salman cinematic universe, basically. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and in terms of priority, we have gone just in the right that, direction. He plays all the Avengers. He plays all the heroes. It's just like everywhere. And all now, uh, now he doesn't have to even learn new dialogue. Another correction. What I'm saying, he just take the same dialogue. He take the same actors from the last film, and he just uh, call it yeah. uh, the most wanted boy. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Wait, it's that's... your most wanted, bhai. Yeah, not more. Your, your most your wanted, bhai. Most wanted, bhai. Oh, your bhi hai usme. So Rade, your most your wanted. Your most wanted, bhai. <laughs> so, the things, the topics we've gone through today are really draining, yar. Back to the prime minister. Yeah. Amit, any comments? Is it a manipulative thing? Is it a actual spontaneous thing? Is it a bit of both? Who knows? So there are enough challenge. Uh, there are enough problems and enough to criticize without really criticizing. the motivations and trying to pretend that we know what the guy is thinking and he's faking this stuff just assume that it's in good faith and he's he's upset about the fact that he's fucked up so much over the last couple of months right i mean like i i i just like you know it's it's uh, i i don't see any point to calling them With fake that tears because it's a stamp ho gaya podcast no, it's approved a, It's a distraction oh. from the real issues right because i mean like who cares whether it is fake or not in some yeah. sense right it doesn't matter yeah. what matters is what yeah. the ground reality is right and so i mean like okay fine he's upset he's upset because there's been a there's been this massive surge people have died he's upset okay fine who cares it's good that he's upset he should be upset he's the prime minister of a country which has the biggest covid uh, infection rate in the last uh, whatever being so the most popular upset. to most popular a few months back before the first covid surge to probably uh, you know really in trouble because as this thing goes on the leaders will take the beating there's no question both state no, and center um i mean again i i agree with amit when he says that how does it matter if it's whatever um you know legit or not like tears are tears and i hate tears pushpa uh, uh, but yes. uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, 30 years old 30 years old yeah. just like the 3 others <laughs> uh but, but you know uh, what go down the I rabbit hole of the tears please ha huh? <laughs> <laughs> you ruined that phrase for me forever now thanks <laughs> but they wash to wo pehla rabbit hole ke baad they wash kiya na only to part 2 uh so, sorry <laughs> but uh, what i would uh, actually pay attention to is his speech which happened on the 20th of april right uh, 20th of april when he finally addressed you know the issue the second wave coming in and he was like oh my god we are in trouble basically that was the whole message um 
I looked at the speech three weeks later, which is like two weeks ago now. Uh, if you look at it again, it's like just bunch of lies. So now, if you every time you look at it uh, after a week, no more and more of his statements become untrue. It's amazing. So I've done a reaction video on it because. Everybody is doing reaction video. I wanted to do it on Adarniya Modi ji. So I watched his speech and I was just pausing and I'm like, wait, boss, this is not true. Like he's like, हमने वैक्सीन का अप्रूवल दे दिया है. You know, like some regulatory plus processes clear कर दिए. Eight days after he says this is when they put the order for the vaccines with Serum Institute, right? And that's like some eleven crore vaccines, not even like for the entire population or anything. Yeah. टेस्टिंग and also mm-hmm. another thing yeah. i was reminded of because of this again not related to the tears but just modi ji coming on tv i guess uh i think a week ago he did this uh, post from man ki baat updates send us your positive stories right and i was like what is this guy on like what are you even talking about like and it, it, it's insane because then after that uh, rss also did a positivity unlimited campaign where mohan bhagwat ji came and he was like positivity positivity don't be so sad positivity and i said positivity is the problem you? if you test positive that's the problem <laughs> 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 the word they choose yaar exactly <laughs> 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 but uh, mega you go back to 2020 march or april where the, the first statement about bartan ka this thing and the, the taali bajao and all that lights off You remember those two, oh three yeah. theatrical uh, devices? My building, I fought with a guy. Yar, you ne kyun ne kya? You ne light kyun ne band kya? And all. I'm, I'm like, what are you saying? But shutting the light for nine minutes? What am I doing? I don't understand. That People was are insane. Sick, they're sick. It, there's no connection. That, but uh, you know, if you look at it deeper, actually, it's a very good trick, right? So it's a it's a trick. I would I would do call it a trick because I feel like all of these uh, addresses that he gives, where he gives a task. to someone like uh, uh, yeah distracts um, you yeah yeah so he not distract but i would think that he is actually giving them a task so that they come unite like basically he's trying to unite a lot of people to make them feel like they are a part of his tribe right and then he would essentially lull them into this sense of nahi nahi sab theek hai sab changa si everything is great yeah. uh, but by doing that task is actually ensuring and putting peer pressure on people who do not agree with it right so for it's instance actually, it's actually which, a tr- it's a tried and true method of how dictators come to power uh, and, uh, basically creating this sense of collective that you know we are we are in this together solidarity nationalism all for, but uh, sorry collective uh, inconse- inconsequential thing you know, especially when you have major tragedy and this to deal with i mean people making a big song and dance about putting likes of clapping the bartans and all that i mean honestly if you put it in perspective so, it's really it's childish no but it's uh, uh, like i mean the you can uh, so stalin had this stuff going on mao oh. had this great leap forward going on i i'm, I'm not making a comparison it's not the same oh, thing student. okay it's not the same thing but at the same we time you know this is on board at this rate huh. okay all right <laughs> uh not a problem uh but yeah uh, <laughs> it, 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 uh You know this stuff is uh, th- this is trying to Stalin, method, Stalin, right? Stalin, make a Stalin point. You know, more than more than Stalin is the Mao point, right? The Great Leap Forward had a tremendous number of people who were really, really supporters of it, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, like the urban population was really supported because it was just like you know, it's this tech, uh, typical technocratic kind of solution from that point in time, which is a bureaucrat-driven solution, which had no kind of re- uh, relationship to on-ground realities, right? And so it's the same kind of thing over here, the where you're looking at kind of creating this commonality. this task this kind of we're all on the same team we're on it we're in it together which is very useful to him from political perspectives right what was his what was his uh, approval rating right uh, uh, at the end of september october it was insane it was off the charts it was yeah. high yeah and so also like, like, like i would give my personal example for this also because when that whole thali thing happened you remember 5 baje 5 minute ke liye thali bajao ya whatever ha I went out, right, and uh, I mean everybody was like banging thali, so I went out. 
um and i could see like everybody was in the balcony and they were looking ki yeah. kon kon bahar aa raha hai right yeah. so i was yeah. outside and they were staring at me because i was not clapping i was just like making a video oh. for you know to use it at some point or whatever um i felt peer pressure genuine peer pressure because niche wale log baju wale log everybody was staring at me why is this guy mm. not clapping why is this guy not banging thalis or whatever it's such an effective method because there it's a mass hysteria i would call yeah. it right that like right around you there is mass hysteria and so it's people fear... started bursting crackers it's yeah, yeah, bizarre it's... it's fear and peer pressure but yeah. uh, what worked in the first innings is not working in the second innings uh, what you mentioned just now ki 2021 ka april speech mein he has given statements and statistics which are not up to the mark and Absolutely. it looks like he's floundering the, his own confidence is down and then we come to the crying and everything else because now they are a little bit clueless so what do they do it's almost like he's out of depth which is very scary actually it is scary uh, because when you are when the most powerful influential greatest leader in your country is like helpless it's you kind of you do a separate show yaar silvery aur main thoda bystander ho sakta hu usme i think for safety sake <laughs> go on maine kya galat bola sabse power influential leader to hai no, sir no, just carry on you're right you're right ha bolo um my thing is uh, you know uh, about uh, the prime minister there is one thing that you have to also talk about um so everybody looks at him as an example Uh, there are a lot of people who still believe in what he is what his capa- capabilities are look at him as a good administrator sure everything is great uh, when you go to a bengal rally and say ki kitna crowd aaya hai when you have like leaders going around and doing massive rallies when you have kumbh mela happening when you have uh, you know uh, like gatherings holy gatherings etc jo bhi ho raha hai um it doesn't work like you know if you do like something like a swachh bharat where you are like sweeping the floor so oh my god great must follow example of modi ji when you are doing yoga is like oh my god great we must do yoga and must follow example of modi ji and when he goes and says ha ah, corona chala gaya and you you guys can chill now like you have to again say oh my god great just follow the example of modi you can't have it both ways no you can't then say ki nahi nahi actually wo logo ki galti thi you know are modi ji to bol gaye par log aaye the na wahan pe log aaye the unki galti hai wo kyu aaye wahan pe it it's it's bizarre how both of these things cannot exist at the same time right he is an influential leader he is an icon everybody follows him but when he does wrong things nahi nahi log ki galti but that's the that uh, again that's playbook right for that that's like is, fairly standard political playbook that to deflect uh responsibility of individual or party politicians you basically turn it into the public's fault that they, yeah. they or rather something that the public can fix on their own right they i mean like a- uh there there's this uh, sorry sorry so there's this uh, i think i've spoken about this before but uh, the plastics episode of john uh, oliver's show they're talking about how recycling everybody is made to feel like you can make a difference by recycling when the truth of the matter is individual recycling has absolutely no effect it's about mm-hmm. the packaging industry and how they work right so i uh, uh, for for the environmental problems that we're talking about it doesn't matter it's the same thing here right what mm-hmm. you can do individually doesn't matter but by making it seem that the individual is the one who is at fault you are able to kind of deflect your own responsibility which is what they've done Absolutely. which is from day one what most of the governments are doing actually when you look at it they just deflect the responsibility onto the citizen all the time mm-hmm. and and when it gets worse and worse the distance is already created i think it's very good politicking as far as i'm concerned i'm i think they should also keep a blame minister yahan pe i think dr harshavardhan could be made the blame minister quite easily and when the uh, shit is hitting the fan and going beyond it they can just point it out to him and say that he was confused and we were following yeah. their lead if, if you look at the fauci uh, trump uh, relationship uh, it's very similar in that sense you know the name blame blame calling all that happens as the ship sinks you know i mean that's just uh, you natural. mean the fauci trump relationship is similar to the harshavardhan modi relationship no, 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 no. i'm saying he actually. could make it that way it's not because uh-huh. haz is a one man they still have some sense of democracy uh-huh. and they fight back against the uh, whatever alpha leader they have but here inside the camp so far he's been lucky there has been no sense of mutiny that we can really smell people say mm-hmm. ki the you know uh, up uh, yogi bhai is going to try and do this and that but that's all rumors actually No, there Such won't a... be a mutiny, and the reason is very simple. But right? who will so... take the blame when this gets worse? If this doesn't get better, 
I mean, oh. they are already taking the blame. They have yeah. to take the blame. They are in power. I mean, they are accountable. And I think people are also like saying they are accountable. Kuch to karo, essentially. But yeah, I, there I, is it's made attempt- anything. Um, That's right, sorry. please. You go ahead, please. No, I was just saying this mutiny thing. I don't think it will happen because um, I, I was also talking to someone yesterday um, that a lot of MPs in parliament uh, won because of Modi ji, right? So individuals don't matter, right? You know, Modi ji came, the Modi ji's face ko vote kiya hai, Modi ji's symbol ko vote kiya hai. The MPs don't matter. So they also know that they won because of Modi ji. And uh, therefore, if they have a mutiny, there will be nothing because Modi ji will not fight for them anymore. Modi ji will give them up and then they'll lose. Their political career is over. So yeah. I don't think there will be like... He, he's not so allowed centralized. Any, he's not allowed any pan-India growth to happen uh, of any politician or celebrity politician, you want to call him that. They've all been regional successes. No one there who can cross over. And I, you know, you think about it, there isn't any. In fact, they're almost as bad as Congress in that sense. Where is the uh, potential? You take him out of the party and the party is what? But you know, Saris, that's interesting. If you think about it from just the Indian larger perspective, how many how many politicians have we had in the last God knows how many years who have a national profile? There aren't that See, many. But that's I mean, on a saying. local level, CMs, etc., you might say. Yeah. Um, I would say Gadkari. Uh, I would hmm. say um, maybe Piyush Goyal also. I mean, he did have a profile. But Piyush Goyal, he like, like, a corporate face. It's, it's got to go beyond uh, urban India. You know, hmm. I'm thinking a guy who has a mass appeal like he's had, he's not allowed anyone to come up like that. There's, you can't that say he's potential. Hai. I, I wouldn't say allowed also. But I, I'm just saying that it's a tremendously difficult kind of, or, or it's a tremendously rare club of people who are in that kind of space, right? Because, yeah, maybe Gadkari to an extent, but I don't, I, I agree. I don't think Piyush Goel is really the same kind of mass leader that we would say that Modi is, right? And I, I, I just, I'm trying to think back. Who was the last time, other than Atal Bihari Vajpayee, I'm no, struggling. Sushma one, Swaraj, one for example, that. Sushma Swaraj would have given a real run for the money. Had the yeah. personality, if you ever met her, seen her close up and could speak six, seven languages, could go north, south, east, west and make a play. And the woman card, uh, without sounding disgusting, the woman card is huge now. Female voters are going to make a huge difference this last election and the next one and going forward. So I think that would have been, he would have had, and I think there was a little bit of a acrimony there. Uh, unfortunately, mm. she passed. But... If you look at it, if you just from a fun of a political fan, a politics fan, and you'd like to see them fight and go against each other, there's no one who can go against him from his own party. Because even Amit Shah, he, he plays the Kautelia, Chanakya position thing, but he's not going to be the face he's of the party, a, you know. Beyond. He's not a speech giver. He, he he's is not a, a speech giver. giver. He's reinvented himself in many ways, but I don't he's, see him going across. <laughs> Length and breadth of the country. Look at Bengal. It didn't work. Yeah, no, I I can't see it. I I I I, I mean, like it might be there, but I I don't know. I just I feel like this, like you know, finding a a leader who speaks to the entire country, so, right? To or this. to at least a large chunk of the country. I no, feel that's rare. True. So it's changing. Politics is changing. Maybe that will help us better with this one. But the fact of the matter is, Congress and BGP, the two biggest parties, do not have a second guard. Actually speaking, uh. there is no second guard now coming up. So that brings you to regional powers taking over and the Mamtas and all following alliance, forging alliances and whatever. That's going to be the future, it looks like. And if he falls because of this terrible pandemic and then people think he's a fraud or whatever, whatever, uh, it may not happen. He may be able to reinvent himself also. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in politics. But if the BJP falls, we're going to be 30 parties, 30 to 35 parties coming together. Which I think is a great thing. Even I agree. I think, I think it's a great thing. It's, it's a great thing from point of, of sense of democracy. But what will happen? They'll fight and argue every day. I that's think coalition fine. governments are the best. I think that's actually but great. Mary Shadi ko dekho, sir. Mary Shadi ko dekho. It's a democratic Shadi and we fight every day. It's very painful. Yeah. Which is fine. No. Look, no, my thing is that when you look at uh, UPA 2, everybody blames them for like this coalition government koi decision nahi lete thi, poli- policy paralysis ho gaya, etc. But the great thing is when that happens, they don't take bad decisions. And then people actually do things themselves. Right now, what is happening you, is that you because... You mean UPA 1. You mean UPA 1 where they had the coalition. Uh, so, UPA yeah, 2 yeah, sorry, sorry. was more... This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. But uh, my thing is that when there is a coalition, when there's a coalition government, uh, there are a, there is a diversity. There is no one plan for entire nation. There will be many, many agendas being put forward. And the best agendas and the best politicking wins. Right? So, I mean, it's not like they weren't getting anything through. It was... Uh, like basically they had to argue endlessly before they come to a conclusion which everybody agrees to then that was taken forward a lot of stalling right in now, the process will happen yeah, for sure but it's great Lignard, and think, we will 
from this perspective we are thinking ki that is a better option i'm just thinking yeah. how will progress happen beyond a point bahar right. 15 saal gin ke dekho and 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 i don't know you know it will be a, no. a, a, the word parallel is only no but that's the thing so like for instance right now what is happening is that because of this majority government and because of this singular centralized power and the centralized power constantly telling you ki i am doing everything i will fix everything i will take care of you people are like ha so take care right but then when there are like these bunch of politicians fighting on top of you they're like ye to incompetent people like we'll have to do something ourselves Ar- so what is it in the truest sense uh, instead of them telling us to take responsibility we will have to take responsibility this is a yeah. thing altogether <laughs> that's essentially it i mean if you i genuinely think we should uh, not uh, we put our politicians on a pedestal right you know like our institutions politicians parliament ekdam aise bahut are bhagwan type hai like of are, of india no. yeah i mean authority is that is the authority and we have to listen to everything they say correct but actually it's the other way around right we are the authority and they should listen to everything we say that's the thing and it doesn't happen anymore Yeah, that's the aspiration. हम होंगे कामयाबे का दिन. But guys, it's eleven o three. Do we have time for a quick AMA? Let's yep, let's, let's do a quick AMA. AMA. I sorry, I have a meeting at eleven o'clock. I didn't even realize. Wow, this. Yeah, I have to drink my uh, yep. protein All shake right, or I'll become thin. Oh. All right. Uh, the first question comes from Vineet Nayar. He asks, uh, Have news laundry received any death threats? Does the nature of your job cause any mental health issues? This is for Meghnaat. Uh, death threats? No death threats. कोटला Go on, go on. So uh, he did like this three-part series, basically about uh, how his 150-acre campus came up, about uh, his origin story, how he gained influence around politicians and celebrities, and then how he uh, basically sells products and then calls them donations for tax evasion purposes. Uh, so uske baad itna troll ho raha hai na, matlab uh, I mean obviously Isha Foundation is very powerful. There is no. Say, say one thing, one line, one one dumpy that came. What, what would it be like? Um, I would I would say uh, no dumpy in the sense they are like you know your fake laundry, naksal laundry and whatever whatever. Do you have to say any? You know your you have an agenda against India, anti India, etc. Uh, so intellectual trolling. That's, yeah, I mean that's not so bad. So usual trolling. But, what, what's but more irritating, getting that, trolled by uh, getting trolled by Sadhguru followers or getting trolled by bugs? I know there's uh, overlap, but what's more there irritating? There is a little bit. Uh, I would say, I mean, it's quite equal actually. I mean, I don't even categorize anymore. I mean, it's just like I'm like hard. <laughs> but do you respond? Uh, but like, no. But the thing that happened to us, uh, genuinely happened to us, was that cases were filed against us. Right. So. Uh, Sarkar filed a case against Pratik for a story he did. I have a hundred crore defamation case against me by Times now. Manisha has one. Both of them hundred crore or three years jail because we called him a karare chane seller, Rahul Shiv Chakkar. So uh, basically, these kind of threats keep happening, right? But uh, because we, uh, it was interesting because we then uh, started a legal aid fund because we told them that you know these are the cases that have come against us. If you believe we are right. Please fund our legal fees, and it got topped up in like two weeks. So now our subscribers are funding our legal battles also. So now we can be more brave. We can actually then go after people like Sadhguru and But whoever. But coming back else. to Rahul Shiv Shankar, greatest uh, uh, what's it called news anchor in India, uh, he's not worth hundred crores. I would I would say two thousand five hundred rupees is the upper limit I'll pay for his entire <laughs> reputation and work. Why should I pay more? They called him a towering personality in the notice. Well, I've seen him drinking like the game. Quite ordinary. 
<laughs> in the notice they mentioned that towering personality. Towering personality. You have it's, you have affected the uh, reputation of towering personality. No, no, it's, so it's equal to him going and uh, bulldozer, uh, bulldozer using a bulldozer to destroy Taj Mahal. He, he's in that uh, August Company of the Great Iconic Monuments of India. I mean, a hundred crores for a bloody news anchor who's just saying the same thing as every other news anchor and power producer. These are I mean, these are slap notices, right? So these happen all yeah. the time because they know they have a lot of money. We don't. We are like a tiny organization which like kuch nahi hai. Other money, they have a legal department who has nothing to do, so they are happy happy to you know get on with it. So one notices. analogy that uh, Abhinandan used is that uh, unke jitne brands hai na, utne hamare employees Zoom window mein bhi nahi fix hote. Basically, <laughs> itna chota hai ham, right? Itna sa. So like um, the. Point is that you know they try to do this to intimidate you so that if you're stuck in this legal battle for years, then you're like, boss, how much will we spend on this? Humko kaam bhi karna hai. Humko, like, we have to get subscriptions. So rehte times now say, let's go okay. after someone else. But okay, la- yeah, last question then. Really- how much are we worth? If defamation happens, your Rahul Chief Sankar, how much should I sue X company for for making fun of me or whatever, putting me down? You can whatever. you can come up with any amount. Our law so doesn't. I'm putting uh, if he's getting hundred crores, मुझे कम से कम twenty five thousand crores with GST, VAT, all inclusive. I, this is my demand. Literally, literally, much- 5,000 crore more than the Central Vista. And I think, oh, wow, I'm feeling very good. Chest is out, beta. Chest is out, yeah. Silvery, how much do you say? Your rate, what is your defamation rate? I think 100 rupees is fine. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to be dragged to courts because you know in Mumbai there's no parking in near any court. It'll be a real headache. Amit, That's how much true, yeah. for your reputation? What? My reputation, priceless, man. Price- Seriously, priceless. Nice. Are you being sarcastic? Because see, <laughs> Beta and I are stumbling. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> no. Aapka face mein koi hint wind kuch nahi hota, to we don't know. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I, I, I think I'm more likely to get sued by defamation given the fact that we're doing this show. <laughs> then I am too. <laughs> no, but this, this shows the work of fiction. I've said it from the beginning. Purely a work uh, of fiction. No, just get just get Patanjali as a sponsor. I think you'll be fine. They leave you alone. Yeah, I'm so it. keen. I you, I'm willing to wear the clothes and model also. I, I, only my yoga is not very good, yar. Ek baar agar juk gaya to wapas hoot nahi sakte uske baad. I'm like, nah, fair enough. Fair Some enough. of us are just not meant for this uh, flexibility, yar. Uh, how much fair for enough. your defamation? Like, Mera to ho gaya na set already. So crore bol diya aur unhone to hai. I mean, so, I am. I'm super value. Yeah, if, if, if you were suing him, yeah. how much? Reverse it. Uh, how much will I, your reputation? I sue him. I uh-huh. sue him for. Uh, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. I would say. Five thousand crore. Yeah. Why not? As long as we are coming out of. Coming up with figures out of our rabbit holes, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> only in our dreams are we truly free. Very good, very nice. I like it. Yeah. So, guys, can we all go out and just bang the buttons for five minutes? Let's go um, do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay. And, and can I go for my meeting? I'm no, I'm also going. Now. I'm also going. I've got yeah. dogs to walk. Megna, sorry about last week. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure. Bye, Silvia. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're done. done. Uh, yeah. so I'm just. Okay.